And so how do we turn that into a skill? Well, all we have to do guys is download this file. So in mid-2024, Anthropic took the world by storm by announcing Claude 3.5. And then a few months later, they came out with their MCP server, which changed the way that we thought about how AI agents could use tools. And in today's video, guys, I'm going to introduce how Claude Code skills have absolutely changed the game once again. Another one. Another one. Another one. Another one. Another one. What I'm going to show you guys today literally makes our AI agents in coding, in marketing, and in platforms like N8N a 100 times more reliable, more accurate, and they use a small percentage of the amount of context that they used to use. If you guys have been a part of this channel for any period of time, you guys would know that I only show you guys things that actually apply to real businesses. And after using Claude Code skills for a couple of weeks, I have identified some massive, massive advantages that are used in both our AI service agency and our AI SaaS development agency. And so I had to explain it in this video today. I hope you guys are ready. Grab some coffee, hit this video with a like if you haven't already, but let's actually break down why the new announcement by Anthropic, the Claude Code skills, have made AI agents at least 10 times better. And I'm gonna give you guys a couple of real world examples. So really quick, let's just break down what Claude Code skills are. So introducing agent skills. Claude can now use skills to improve how it performs specific tasks. Skills are folders that can be shared in instructions. It can be shared using scripts of actual code. And these resources can be used by Claude whenever it needs it. Now, this is the most slept on fact about Claude Code skills because people are showing you all across YouTube how you can use Claude Code within Claude AI, right? Which is just the normal chat box interface that you guys are seeing here. But where you can actually use all of these skills is inside of Claude Code, inside of the API, and that means we can power up our agents with these skills on N8N and we could power up our coding agents on platforms like Cursor using this new skill framework. So now let me just show you guys what Claude Code skills are on the Claude.ai platform and then we're going to break down the real world examples. So if I head into the settings on Claude Code and I go into the capabilities and we scroll down, we're going to see all of the skills that Claude has already built for us. And the most important one is this skill creator. This skill creator is going to allow us to make more skills in the future. And so when you enable this skill creator feature, it's not just available on Claude.ai, but it's available on Claude Code and through the API, meaning we can program any agent we want with the exact skill set that it needs. All right, cool. So now that we know what Cloud Code skills are, it's essentially just a folder that explains how to use a certain set of tools or a certain set of code so that the agent can consistently and reliably use it again and again and again. Now let's break down what an MCP server is, right? So an MCP server, the simplest way for us to understand this is that an MCP is just an API wrapper for agents. And so on the screen here, we have Google Meet, we have Google Calendar, we have Gmail, and we have Notion. Each one of these platforms has a whole laundry list of API calls. For example, on Gmail, you can send emails, you can read emails, you can mark them, you can tag them, you can delete them, and all of these different functions are API. API calls. So inside of a custom MCP server for Gmail, it's going to have every single one of these instructions. And that has supercharged AI agents. And that is what took the world by storm when MCP was announced, but it does come at a cost. So what is wrong with MCP? So if we look at Claude 4.5, it only has a context limit of 200,000 tokens. And if we relate back to the previous slide, each one of these MCP servers has to pull in all of the context from these platforms. So for example, if I were to connect my Supabase database MCP with my Airshare social media MCP and my Stripe payments MCP, that's going to surpass something like 100,000 tokens just in the context. Now, why is this a problem? Well, then our agent is going to take forever to decide which tool to use, and it might not choose the right one because it has too many options. And the time that it'll take to actually do that task will make it feel like we're using ChatGPT3. And so our user experience also gets hindered in this way. Now, there is a solution. And that solution is Claude Code skills because this folder creation can be fed to our agent in any way that I spoke about previously. And I'm gonna now show you guys two absolutely game-changing examples. So the first example that I wanna show you guys is actually on N8N. 
So if we pull up NADAN, this is one of the biggest agents that I'm currently working on. It's called the Business Consulting Agent, and it has access to the entire operating system database, which is my AI startup creator OS, if you guys want to check that out. And essentially what this agent can do is check the entire business of any one of our clients. It can check what social messages they're getting. It can check their social profile analytics, social comments, their revenue streams, how their agents are performing. And then we have a consulting, we have a consulting branch underneath it. These three agents are trained on Alex Hermosi's books. And in this way, our agent is able to give our customers and our users a lot of good feedback based on how their business is actually performing. It can go and look at the performance of their analytics and compare it to what Alex says in his books. We also have an onboarding form where users, when they first join the platform, answer like a hundred questions about their business. Now, this is important because we can feed all of this context to the same AI agent. But the problem is this AI agent gets absolutely overwhelmed with the amount of context that it has. It doesn't necessarily know exactly which tool to use. And so if we open up this AI agent uh, node here and we go into the system message, I'm just explaining in simple English how to actually use all of the tools. And that is, again, not as consistent, not as accurate as what Claude Code's skills could do. That is example number one, right? So I know exactly what I want this agent to do. I want it to once a day, check every single aspect of a business and then write a review, write a report. And it needs to understand that you can't check every single one of these tables all at once because then you'll run out of context. And it also needs to know what amount of each table it needs to check, right? So inside of the social messages, for example, we're going to be storing days, weeks, months, years worth of social message conversations. But if we're checking every single day or if we're checking in on our clients every single day, we only need to check the social messages once every 24 hours. And so these, and so everything that's associated to this NADN agent can be compiled into a skill. And so how do we turn that into a skill? Well, all we have to do guys is download this file. Because even though this looks cool, it's only a JSON file, which our agents can understand. And so what I would do here is I would grab that file. I would head over to Claude Code and we're just going to start a nice little chat. And I'm just going to say, this is the schema for my AI agent called the ultimate business consulting agent. I want you to make a skill that explains all the facets of tools and resources it has access to. I'm just going to click upload a file and I'm just going to go and grab that agent's file and we're going to open it up. So now that the agent has this information of the JSON schema, I'm just going to send in this message and it's going to create an entire skill that will actually explain to our agent on N8N exactly how to use it. Now, the only thing I have to do to make this all work is I just have to change the AI model that is that this is running on. Because previously we were running this on the Google Gemini model because the context limits were a lot higher. But now, since we can since we can give this agent a skill, we can use Claude Code and it'll be a lot more efficient. All right, here we go. So it has the name. It basically broke it all down. So I'm just going to explain what the skill actually says. So it gives a quick description. So it's a business consulting agent, resources description. So it has database tables, AI sub agents, analytical tools available to the ultimate business consulting agent. Use this skill when the agent needs to understand and what data sources are available, which tools to query for specific analytics, or how to construct effective business consulting responses using the full range of integrated systems, blah, 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 blah. And then it goes ahead and actually gives it its core identity. So it says, you are the chief operating agent with access to every table in the database. Your role is to review all of the relevant data. And then it actually just explains every single table in depth. So the first table, social profile analytics. So when the agent is asked to review the social profile analytics, it knows exactly which table to go and grab and what's inside of that table. So inside of that table, for example, is historical growth metrics per platform. It's overall profile performance trends, cross-platform analytics comparison, and the list goes on and on. And so in this way, this NADN agent is going to get even more powerful for my operating system.
Now, what I just explained, guys, is for NNN agents, for marketing agents, for workflows. But now, let's talk about how this new Claude Code skills can directly impact your coding workflows as well. So we're inside of the cursor dashboard here, and I just want to show you guys what we're working on. So inside of this dashboard, I'm working on Creator OS, which is my AI operating system startup. And it uses an API called AirShare. And AirShare has like 50,000 tokens worth of context when we use it through the MCP server. But the beautiful thing about the MCP server is that it helps me develop apps much faster because the agent knows exactly what uh, API schema is for each one of the calls that we wanna create. But that still takes a lot of time. So in this Claude Code chat, I said, create a skill for the AirShare API that explains every API call in a condensed, easy to access format so that when, whenever the agent uses the NCP, it knows exactly which tool to use. So instead of the graphic that I showed you of you know each MCP server using like 50,000 tokens, this is going to slash the amount of tokens that are used by like 99% because the agent will already know which tool to call and it'll only pull that from the MCP server. And so I wanted to show you guys this before I actually created the file. So the agent has now gone ahead and created the skill and it wants my approval. And so what it did is it formatted its entire breakdown by the operation of the API call, what it's named in the MCP server, the purpose of this API call, and the key schema parameters that you need to pass so that the API call can actually be made. And then it broke it all down. So previously, if we pulled in the MCP context, it wouldn't say, you know, for posting, it wouldn't just say like a couple hundred words for the posting API. It would say like 20,000 words because the context is much greater than this. But when the agent can just look at all of the tools it has access to in a very easy to understand way like this, then it can go, oh, okay, the user wants me to create a post. I'm going to just use this skill, this, this part of the skill to understand exactly how to find that exact API call. And in this way, our agents are gonna become more efficient. They're gonna build a lot faster. And it's not just on N8N, it's not just on Claude Code Desktop, but it's also in your coding models. And so in this way, guys, uh, your agents will become a lot more powerful. It'll save you a lot more money and you're gonna be able to build a lot faster. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just going to continue to create this file. And here we can see that the agent has written this file in the exact uh, directory that we needed to. So the directory is .claude slash skills, and then the skill set that we actually added, which is the Air Share API reference. It has created the AirShare API skill, showed us where the location is, and it basically just says this is a condensed reference that is summarizing all of the API operations, authentication patterns, platform identifiers, and a decision tree, right? So we're basically giving our agent the ability to make a lot more decisions at the same time. So multiple API calls also become possible now at a fast rate. See, if we were asking the MCP server to, you know, create a post and then check our analytics and then send some messages and then send some comments, that would probably take like 20 minutes because the agent would have to go review all of the docs, find exactly what call to make, and chances are it won't even get it right. But when you give it the exact instructions, it's almost fail-proof and it's a lot faster. Now, Cloud Code Skills does create a lot of advantages, but there is one disadvantage that I want to quickly explain. Okay, so when should I use the skills or when should I create a skill for my agent? And when should I just let the agent decide on what to, what to do with the MCP server? And the answer is actually quite simple. So if you already know the ins and outs of an API call or, an, or a software provider that you're using, like for me, it's the AirShare API, then turning that into a skill is going to be very beneficial for your coding agents and for your agents on N8N, for example, because you already know exactly how the tool should be used. But for an MCP server like the Supabase database, I would recommend not to write a skill for that because the agent is basically using the database to you know, write the correct schemas and make sure it works and push a bunch of different API calls that you may not even know of or I may not even know of. And so if we gave it a skill, we would be stripping its flexibility to actually go ahead and make decisions on its behalf or try different API calls on its behalf. And so the advantage of a Cloud Code skill is you can basically turn any knowledge that you have or any expertise that you have into a skill for an agent to use. But if you're working with an MCP server that you don't necessarily know just yet, 
then I wouldn't recommend using the MC. Uh, then I wouldn't recommend using Cloud Code skills because you want that flexibility. You want the agents to show you what's possible with these platforms. So I made this video because in the next one, I'm going to be showing you guys at least 10 Cloud Code skills that I'm using to optimize my AI agents, optimize my AI coding workflows. And I'm going to be giving all of that away to the No Code Academy. It's going to be linked down below. We have a free and paid account as well. So if you guys want, I'll see you guys in there. And I hope you guys enjoy using Cloud Code skills for your your workflows. Have a good one.